The sun and the moon are always in their kingdom together in glory. Jesus marries Mary Magdalene and there is the virgin, his mother. That's what it is. John Thackeray Bunce. Fairy tales, their origin and meanings. They all mean the same thing. That is the relation between the sun and the earth, the succession of night and day, the winter and summer, of storm and calm, of cloud and tempest, of gold and sunshine and bright blue sky. And this is the source from which we get our fairy stories. For underneath all of them, there are the same fanciful meanings, only changed and altered in the way of putting them, by the lapse of ages of time, by the circumstances of different countries, and by the fancy of those who kept the wonderful tales alive without knowing what they meant. Isn't that right? Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? There's the Seven Dwarves, the seven days of the week. Snow White is the sun. Little Red Riding Hood? The sun turns red. How many sunsets have you seen that are red? How many winters are red? They all are, because autumn is red. Little Red Riding Hood, as she turns red, she gets swallowed by the wolf winter, night, and then she comes out alive the next day. Beauty and the Beast. Who's beauty? Well, we just read before, it's the dawn. It's always the dawn. The sun dies and he conquers and vanquishes his enemies. And at 6 a.m. In, mor in the morning or um, break of day, there he is, you see the light just coming through. That's Prince Charming. That's Be Beauty and the Beast. And and as he leaves the dawn every day, he says goodbye to his loved one and returns every year to the same spot, to where she is waiting for him. Let's read that. Beauty and the Beast. We have the same idea. There are the three sisters, one of whom is chosen as the bride of an enchanted monster who dwells in a beautiful palace. By the arts of her sisters, she is kept away from him and he is at the point of death through his grief. Then she returns and he revives and becomes changed into a handsome prince and they live happily, happy ever after. One feature of these legends is that, be that beings closely united to each other, as closely that is, as the sun and the dawn, may not look upon each other without misfortune. Orpheus and Eurydike. Perseus, the slayer of Medusa. It's the sun. As the sun comes up, he slays all his enemies. How many stars can you see when the sun comes up? They all run away because he vanquishes them. He is the king and has no mercy for the stars. But when he goes down, the, star, the stars come out and we can look up as the animals cannot. As Marcus Manilius says, man is the one that is going back to the stars because his neck looks up and contemplates the stars where he came from and sees his way back home. We are stardust and we're going back to the stars. This is a story of the sun and the dawn. Cinderella, grey and dark and dull, is all neglected when she's far away from the sun. Obscured by the envious clouds, her sisters, and by her stepmother, the night. So she is Aurora, the dawn, and the fairy prince is the morning sun, ever pursuing her to claim her for his bride. Myths and myth makers. Around about the same time, 1800s. Eli, um, John Fiske, the Trojan War. Helen, the moon. Mary Magdalene, the moon. Selene, the moon. Anything with an Eli, Eli, Eli sound is the moon. Sleeping Beauty, the earth goddess, sinks to her long winter sleep when pricked by the point of the spindle. In her cosmic palace, all is locked in icy repose, naught thriving save the ivy which defies the cold, until the kiss of the golden-haired sun god reawakens life and activity. Song of Sixpence, 24 and 20, black, uh, 20, uh, 4 and 20 blackbirds, the 24 hours of the day. It's all in here. And the pie that holds them is the underlying earth covered with the overreaching sky. How true a touch of nature it is that when the pie is opened, that is, when day breaks, the birds begin to sing, the king is the sun and he's counting out the money, he's pouring it and 
counting out his money is pouring out the sunshine. When the king, you know, King John, he counts all his money or whoever, that's pouring out his sunshine, gold, because gold is money. We have gold, silver and bronze. Silver is the moon, and that's why we call it money, M-O-N, comes from the moon. We have money, moon, silver, more predominant than gold. But that's the sun counting his, his money, the gold rays of the sun. How true the touch of nature it is that when the pie is open, that is when the day breaks, the birds begin to sing, the king is the sun and is counting out his money, is pouring out the sunshine. The golden shower of Danae, the queen is the moon. The queen's always the moon. It's always the moon. Guinevere, it's the moon. Helen of Troy, it's the moon. Abraham and Sarah, Brahma and Saraswati, that's interesting. The the scholar who teaches this, Acharya S, who was responsible for the movie Zeitgeist, teaches that, that Brahma, what they used to do, Brahma and Saraswati, well that's, oh sorry, leave that B there, take the A off here and just put Abraham and Sarah. It's always the sun and the moon. Wherever you go, every fairy tale, Every nursery rhyme will go back to that. It may splinter off into other natural phenomena like earthquakes, volcanoes, tsunamis and stuff like that. But it always comes from the most striking and observable of all the natural phenomena. The day and the night, we are locked in that cycle. We are locked in these fractals, in these rhythms. We cannot escape them whilst we are here, Sabitha, and under the power of the seven which are the seven chakras. This is the science that teaches you that you are one unit of God. We're made of carbon. We've been hexed. Because when you unpack a hex, a hex, a cube, you get a cross that looks like the human body. Six squares. We've been hexed with earth. We have to have a water baptism. Jesus says you need a baptism of spirit. Spirit is air. And a, spirit, a baptism of fire. And then you go back to the Father. Cain and Abel. Isaac and Esau. Uh, uh, and Jacob. This is Jacob. This is Israel. He gets a name change. This is Abram. This is Abraham. He gets a name change at 90 degrees. The sun below and the sun above have a different name. But they're brothers. One's positive, one's negative. It's nature. Everything has resistance. It has to have. Every energy must be resisted. That's duality. Here there is oneness. Here there is duality. Sub-ether is the world in which we live, but we come from that world. And we go back to this world. You need to know this science and not be tricked by the literal story because the literal story will not save you. Salvation means waking up. We need to wake up. Scorpio, the backbiter. Judas is a backbiter. So is Scorpio, because a scorpion doesn't bite with his front claws, he bites with his back. And when you get bitten by a scorpion and you notice the, the, the bruise, it looks like a kiss, a human kiss, two lips. That's why Jesus is betrayed with a kiss. There's a reason why every detail is in the Bible. You must look here. And isn't it interesting that the scorpion should be there to bite the sun and betray the sun? Isn't it interesting that the goat should be there? The, the water bearer should be in the wet season. Pisces. What happens before Easter? Pisces. Lent. Lent is short for lengthen. The 40 days of Lent start here when Jesus gets baptized and then goes 40 days into the wilderness and then starts his ministry here. It's... And they eat fish. Here you eat lamb. Here you eat beef. What as above, so below. Continuing on. The stars of the Scorpio were hidden by the sun during the season of unhealthy weather and of plagues. Remember, that's the Tropic of Cancer, June 21st, and here is December. Do you remember that? That's the solstice, yeah? Okay. So we've got the, and that's the, the equator virtually, 
Don't be confused. This is not north, south, east and west. This is just a graph. And as I said before, you can start areas over here, which is more natural. It's, prop it's proper to have areas over here, actually. But I'm going to do it from here and you'll see why. It all makes sense when we put everything together. It's just as right to put Aries over here. But when you think of it, the Earth is going anti-clockwise around the Sun, rotating and orbiting anti-clockwise. So therefore, Aries should be over here. That should be east and that should be west. But it's not what I'm doing. Okay, and so there, and, and there's a Tropic of Cancer, there's a Tropic of Capricorn. Good? The elements, we go back. Fire, Earth, air, water. Fire, earth, air, water. Fire, earth, air, water. Cardinal, fixed, mutable. Cardinal. Okay? Now, remembering, March is over here. We've just crossed that. September's over here, and, uh, 21st. Well, I'm, I'm putting the 21st to keep it simple, but that should be the 23rd. doesn't matter. <laughs> 12 midday, sunset. Right? So you've got sunrise, 12, sunset, midnight. Spring, summer, the fall, autumn, and winter. Okay? Also, I told you, that the body goes in through there. Aries at the head, fire, cardinal fire, because the fire is up, the water is down. Water and earth are down, they're feminine. These are masculine. Spirit is masculine. That's why we call God male. It's not because God is all male. God is male and female, especially when you're talking about this God, the Demiurge, the Cosmocrators. This is not... This is, this is the Elohim, this is Jehovah, this is Jupiter, this is God, God, this is the Olympians, the 12 Olympians, uh, the 7 Olympians, who destroy the Titans, right? Holy, the holy, the holy Olympians, the Elohim, wherever you see Ol, El or Il, And even in, 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 in Italian and Spanish, the article, el, in Spanish, anything masculine is el, because el is masculine. The boys, the big boys on the block, they are the two L's. And they are the two cr, cr. Remember? It's very important to remember this, because it all fits together in a minute. They are the two twins. In the Bible, if you know what you're looking for, you'll find that Jesus was a twin. That's Thomas, Thomas Didymus. 21st of December is St. Thomas Day because Jesus rules up here, the sun. And by the way, how do I know for sure that Jesus is the sun? You seen that? What are those letters? Yeah, that H, any Greeks in the house? <laughs> I've already asked that. That is E. And it's pronounced that H. It's not an H. This is not Latin. This is Greek. And that is I, E. It's pronounced Ita. It's the Greek word for E. S. Yes. It spells yes. Now have a look at that. That's what you just saw. Now always in this uh, language of the sun, you will see that picture with the, with the H-E-S in it. Okay. Now I just said to you that it was... Yes. Who knows who's seen that word before? Yes, Krishna. That's exactly the name for Krishna. Yes, yes. Who knows who's seen that word before? Yes, Krishna. That's exactly the name for Krishna. Yes, Krishna. In Hebrew, we have, we do this. Yes. Because that's how you pronounce it, Jesus. They put a U.S. on here. Incorrectly, incorrectly, the Romans did. It's yes in the name of the Son, as you just saw. 
And remember, remember, we had the, the cycles. So yes, and we also, when we say yes, we nod our heads because yes is the sun. It's positive. The sun is positive. 